The NASCAR family has always been active in their communities, and here in Daytona, NASCAR's first family has always led the way. They have a special relationship with Habitat for Humanity, and this past week, it was ladies first as they rolled up their sleeves to pitch in. Let's go to Wendy Venturini. Thanks, John. In honor of Betty Jane's Francis, a past charity and community service, the NASCAR Foundation started a program this year that will generate opportunities to volunteer over one million hours of community service in 2011. Yesterday, Betty Jane's daughter, Lisa France Kennedy, and I took to some power tools to build a habitat home in the Daytona area. So first off, Lisa, we're here not far from the Speedway in Daytona Beach at this habitat home. Tell us about Daytona and NASCAR's involvement with this build. Well, Daytona International Speedway is sponsoring the home, and uh, there are a lot of community partners that are involved, um, a lot of women's groups, as well as the NASCAR Foundation. Today we have some of NASCAR and Daytona's executives here, all women, volunteering on the build. Pretty cool. Absolutely, and um, this really gives women a chance to um, participate on the construction site. So it was a concept that Habitat for Humanity had called Women Build. And, you know, we've always um, donated and we've always supported it in different ways, but now we get a chance to be hands-on. And this is a chance really for, for Daytona and for NASCAR to give back to the local community right here in Daytona Beach. Absolutely. Um, it's so important to us. It's one of our missions as a corporation to be involved in the community. I can't think of a better way. Coming up, the NASCAR has decided the Betty Jane France Humanitarian Award. It's a really cool concept, a way to give back to different charities and mm -hmm. to the NASCAR fans. Tell us about it. Well, first of all, um, the Betty Jane France Humanitarian Award um, was developed by my mother concept, and um, it's going to be the fans will be able to vote on NASCAR.com, and the winner gets $100,000 to their favorite charity. And the top three, um, or I should say the three finalists below that, would get a chance for $25,000 to their charity as well as go to an event and the championship. And so NASCAR.com. And the cool part about the Humanitarian Award is, is NASCAR fans giving back to charitable efforts with NASCAR backing them up. So not only did this charity win, they get something as well with the Ford Explorer. Absolutely. Um, everybody really wins in this. Um, the NASCAR industry does. We have a chance to give back, and the fans do. So it really, it'll be someone who has a passion for NASCAR, but they've given back in their own way to a charity, and especially uh, to a children's charity. And to recognize the efforts, the volunteer efforts of many of the NASCAR fans, this first ever Betty Jane France Humanitarian Award will be awarded in December, but nominations can still be coming in on NASCAR.com slash Unites. You have until July 18th. You can nominate a NASCAR fan you think is worthy that does charity work and that will be useful for the uh, $100,000 for their favorite children's charity of choice. Definitely a good effort that NASCAR, Daytona, Betty Jane France, and the whole France family is doing to give back to NASCAR fans. Johnny? Wendy, thanks a lot. And what a lot of these NASCAR top drivers do is they donate back to the community, but they do it without fanfare or without media coverage. So there's a lot of drivers that do a lot of great things, as well as NASCAR, that flies underneath the radar. But, Daryl, you guys did a pretty high-profile thing down here in Florida uh, where the governor got involved. Yeah, we were up at the Tallahassee, uh, Tallahassee at the governor's mansion, and uh, they, at the governor's cotton first lady opened up the mansion up there for all the NASCAR community to come in and honor uh, the hard work that NASCAR and everybody in it has done in the state of Florida, all the charitable work they've done in the state of Florida, but also in the entire country. It was a really nice evening, and uh, it, they were so cordial, and uh, every a bunch of drivers, and Brian France, Lisa, and all of them, Mike Helton were there, and it was a really nice event. Betty Jane France is the first lady of NASCAR. Her husband, Big Bill France, he started NASCAR. Betty Jane has worked tirelessly. She has created such things as speediatrics. But one thing she has done is she has set an example. For example, you look at something that happened in Joplin, Missouri with the tornadoes, Joey Logano, Jamie McMurray. They went out there, they're giving back to the community. So one thing that Betty Jane France has done, check this out, race fans, this is Joplin, Missouri. So Betty Jane is setting an example in all types of ways. And all of us drivers and sponsors are following Betty Jane France's lead. Thank you, Betty Jane. 
and uh, you're a great example to follow. Yeah, the, the France family has always encouraged us as drivers, owners, and anybody in the community to go out and do charitable work and give back because we all know how fortunate we've been, how blessed we've been, and we have a great platform for drawing attention to charities and to people in need. And I love the way NASCAR gets involved in everything that they, I mean, everything they do is first class. And they are the first family of NASCAR setting a great example along the way. NASCAR Race Day is brought to you by Feed the Children, working in partnership with Speedway Children's Charities to help feed children in need in racing communities across America. To help, like us on Feed the Children's Facebook page or visit speedtofeed.org and join our Speed to Feed pit crew.